twice for Toronto in 2012. Last year, pitched for the Diamondbacks in a ball game, and he took the loss. And his first pitch swung on and missed. Could have gotten away with ringing that one up. 3 2 pitch and a bouncer third base. Plenty of time. And the throw across is good and the inning is done. So Mathis puts a goose egg on the board in the eighth. Last chance for the Rangers coming up down by a dozen. Don't get hurt. I think about Felipe Lopez doing yeah. it once for the Cardinals. Got a little bit frisky, tried to do too much, throw too many sliders and hurt his arm. Struck him out. The highlight of the night for the Cardinals. Jed Jerko coming in and firing gas. The strikeout. That's a little fun. 12-1. Tonight, that's the only reason he pitched. Otherwise, we may have seen Caleb Joseph in the eighth. Caleb. Uh... Former seventh round pick by the Orioles in 2008 out of Lipscomb University in Nashville, Tennessee, has never pitched in either the minor or the major leagues. And he gets to face last year's National League MVP <laughs> runner up. Go get him. As his first career hitter. Baez has singled, dub walked, and scored twice. Baez, you know, is going to try and hit one 600 feet. <laughs> sure enough, <laughs> he might have hit it 600 feet in the air. Yeah. Swihart's got it. One pitch, one out for Joseph. He's always been kind of a pitch to contact guy. Yeah. Escobar spins and throws. Caleb Joseph, a one, two, three, nine. Six pitches, three outs. Nicely done. That was his ninth. Best hang time tonight. Wow. Right? There's nobody's going to stop the schedule for you. Braden Bishop in center field puts it away for round number three. Now we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. A couple of changes for the Braves. Ender Inciarte will come on out and patrol center field for Atlanta and Charlie. Culberson is going to come on and pitch in relief for the second time as a Brave. He gave up a run in one inning last year and he dazzled everybody because he was throwing 92 to 93 miles an hour. As Bargo digs in and oh, front struck door him slider. out. Front door. Wow. Break it out, Chazzo. That's something to smile about. The old backup slide or that front door. Nasty. It actually was front that door. That was nasty. That's a bite to it. I don't know if he was trying to go there, but. <laughs> I don't think Charlie knows this, but no. that's his first big league strikeout. Oh, really? He needs that baseball. Yes, I don't he think does. they threw it out. He is the Swiss Army knife of Braves baseball players. He just shook off, right? That's why I love it. Love it. To center. Ender is back. He is there. Charlie Culberson. Charlie wanted the heater. Yeah. They ain't throwing that slop up there. And he's upset. He loaded the bases. He just got his first big league strikeout. Way to go, Charlie. We got a surprise for you. It is 6-1 in the ninth inning, and the White Sox are going to turn to Jose Rondon on the mound. It's a five-run game. You're trying to sneak an inning for your bullpen. Jose Rondon in his first ever pitching appearance. We've seen this more and more in the majors in closer games. Sometimes even teams with the lead will do this nowadays. Just trying to save a couple of arms out of the bullpen. And Jose comes in. Let's see what he's got. First one is a strike. Congratulations to the Grimm family. A wonderful man. And a wonderful inning. Moncada with the catch. Rondon keeps his zero career ERA. And he's got a new fan. And Kevin Ploiecki will put his streak of not allowing a run on the line here this afternoon. He pitched a scoreless inning his only other time out. The Indians catcher for the fourth time in his career will tow the rubber. And a 
first ball swing line drive out by Edwin Encarnacion. One down. Shaking him off. Uh -uh. Here we go. He got him. Center field. A Good one, for him. two, three, ninth inning for Kevin Ploiecki. Two scoreless innings on the year. Specials. Well said, Luke Maley. First career appearance on the mound. And the catcher puts one right in there to his opposing catcher, Jeff Mathis. Three. Oh, maybe. Swing and a miss. Got him with a heat. He had 87 miles per hour with that last one. He completes a 1 2 3 eighth inning. Up. Pablo Sandoval is actually on now to pitch for the veteran. San Francisco Giants. He's a veteran pitcher. I mean, if you consider a position player multiple times on the mound, he was out there last year. In fact, he pitched a clean 1 2 3 inning against the Dodgers. To cheer about, they're getting into this inning with White on the mound. There's a strike! Look at Wow. Just painting the edges of the zone. Oh, I can't wait to go golfing with Tyler next time to hear the story about this pitching experience. In the center field, he's going to get a shutout ninth inning and a lead off the next inning. The great white shark gives the fans something to cheer about. Figure something out offensively. And now Brandon Dixon is pitching. Shep, Jack, we'll see you for post game coming up. What do you think about that? Seymour, you never pitched, right? Uh, no. Okay, would you ever want it to pitch? I would want to pitch if it was 15 0. Yes, I would want to try getting some guys out with a knuckleball. You would throw a knuckleball? That's it. Every pitch would be a knuckleball. How about a 65 mile an hour fastball? That's what Dixon's feature Oh, right. man. <laughs> How about this? That's oh, nasty. Fight. Marcus Gas. Nasty. He's Gas nasty. up and in. He's never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> you see that movement on that too, Seymour Jack? <laughs> Seymour, come on up, take over. <laughs> he is. Owens throws a strike. Right there. Just keep it nice and easy. Sure, it's nice to have on your resume that you did pitch before. The last Royal to do it was last season. High fly ball deep to right. Solaire backing up. He's under it. And Owings records his first out as a major league pitcher. He can handle pitchers and he's got a good attitude. And a strikeout of Matt Joyce. And on Perez. He's going to hear it for a while. <laughs> That's a no win for a hitter oh, yeah. facing, uh, facing uh, any position player. He strings and misses 90 mile an hour heat. Sano is out number two. Tom Murphy, he has called for the high fastball many times this year, Aaron, and he hits the top of the zone with 90 miles an hour. Swung on and missed. Tom Murphy, back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the top of the ninth inning. We got a guy. We have got a guy. It's a Walsh. It's his first it's major league appearance, yeah. so yes. it's a little different situation. Oh, for sure. And there's one that's hit on the right side. It's stopped there by Luke Roy, and he will uh, go to the bag to get the out on Gonzalez. Runners advance to second and third. Two outs here in the ninth. Going on right now, and... Luke Maley is on the mound with this big deficit for the Blue Jays. Maley will pitch for the second time this season. He pitched on May 5th in a 10 2 ball game down in Texas against the Rangers. He faced three batters. Got Jeff Mathis to ground out to the shortstop, the liner to Shields, lined out to right field, and Sin Shu Chu struck out. He was a 4 for 4 hitter on 2nd of July back in 2017. And here he's called out. He can smile because it's 19 to 4. 82 mile an hour fastball at or near the knees for out number one. Victor Caratini's going to pitch. Uh, should be a little bit more mindful of the potential comebacker here. That would be my concern. Swinging away, Almora in. He'll slide and make the catch. Victor back to first. 
He's a strike thrower, this yeah. Victor Caratini. Well, well, for the third time this year, Mariners catcher Tom Murphy on the mound. This is a nice start. Domingo makes a catch, one pitch, one out. All right, well, Ty France is in the game here to pitch now. Position player for the Padres, trailing 9 to 1 in the ninth inning. Gary Cooper leading it off and is ahead 2 and 0. A lot of fastballs yeah. between 82 and 84. See, I, I don't get why it's so hard. This one <laughs> into shallow right. Naylor coming in to make the catch. Here we go. Hey, really? Nice job, Ty France. 9 1, Marlon. Here's the thing about Perez he has a cannon for an arm, but I'm sure he has been threatened not to air it out. Yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself out there. That's happened before. Oh, that's a pop up. He went with the high, I think that was a fastball, 71, gets it out. Maybe he's giving us a different pitcher every time. Look at this. Oh, man. Just, just don't pull a hamstring. Please don't. Oh, a little shimmy. <laughs> he's got another pop up. Oh, man. <laughs> Aguilar was laughing before the ball came down. <laughs> That's excellent managing, by the way. He needed a closer, and he's got one. Yeah. Anything close, man. I mean, yeah. Oh, ground ball. Look at Arcia make a play for him. Throw to first. Yeah. Anybody can pitch in the big leagues with that defense. All right. You waited that long. You deserve some entertainment. You just got it. Shark on the mound. Shark sighting. And it. And it. Tyler White, second appearance as a relief pitcher this year. Kind of a tough spot. He's been standing over there at first base, not exactly loose, so it might take him a couple extra pitches. We've got all kinds of changes defensively. The Astros have forfeited the DH. Two and two the count. It's one thing to rep the Astros. It's another thing when you're down 14 1, you're still you're still here, you're still showing off the towel. Yeah! We got a strikeout. Shark attack. DK's going off the rails. Astros after dark heads to the ninth. This is going to get weird, folks. Caleb Joseph is pitching. Took off the catcher's gear. He's throwing to Carson Kelly. And he's just lobbing it in there. The first one was a true Ephus. And that one was 70 miles an hour. He pitched a scoreless inning for the D-backs earlier this year. Yeah, this is not one of those. This is fun pitching moments for him. Trying to wait for it. And Jan Gomes is going to hit a one hopper. Well, for the first time in Sean Rodriguez's career, uh, he will take to the mound. I don't want to see anyone get hurt, but down 15 to 1. So we get a miss. And a first strikeout for Sean Rodriguez. And one out. Hey, new pitcher on the mound for the Astros. Third time this year for Tyler White. All the dads at home start with me and say, pitching shark. Do, 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 do. Here he is. He's back again. This will be his third appearance of the season. Tyler has thrown his pitches in this inning between 65 and 82 miles an hour as he gets a sharp ground ball to end the inning. Lead off home run and then a double and then Tyler White retires the next three. We head to the bottom of the ninth. 